Hello everyone. Welcome. Barb here from barbaderholt.closetomyheart.com. This is part of my Craft with Heart scrapbooking subscription. I put a couple of the pages together in a previous video and I talked about how I slip them each into their own page protector. The kit does not come with enough page protectors to fit each layout. It comes with enough page protectors to put them in a book. So you're putting some back to back. In order to display them on my wall in my hallway, I add some from my stash. I add some page protectors from my stash. Um, but I, I live with them and this is the current set of pages. I go through, put them all together, hang them up, and eventually I get inspired by some photos that we've taken. And I figure out what I want to do with them. And that's what I have going on right here. I pulled a couple of the pages off the wall and we went and had some family photos taken and I am going to show you how I just add some pictures. It's as easy as this. Put a little adhesive on the back and they have placeholders here and they tell you what size your photo needs to be and I'm just slipping it other, under because when I put the page together I left all of this loose so that I could fit my photos underneath. I'm just tucking it on there and here I'm going to do a little creative cropping. I need three by three so I am going to find the middle of the picture and I'm going to put that at the one and a half inch line because that'll get it in the middle of a three by three because one and a half is half of three by three and I'm going to as I've got it in the middle here, I'm going to trim that off and I'm going to rotate it around. And of course, now I can go to the three inches. Pull that off. Now I have to take three inches off the top and the bottom. I'm looking at it here. And I think I'm going to do a little bit off the top and the bottom. And you can see that works just dandy. I like to do it this way because oh it's it's quick it's fast and quick. And here I have another one this is a three by four so I will have to do the same thing here where I'm going to put the middle of the photo at the one and a half inch mark and chop it off then I go to three inches and this one can be four inches tall. And I know I'm going to take a little bit off of the top and go to the four inches. And it will go right there. And that's all I do. And I just, I've gone through this stack of photos. We did a little winter photo shoot and that's what it looks like. It's as easy as that. You can manage to do a whole year's worth of scrapbooking by using the, the Craft with Heart subscription. It's a fantastic investment um, and you don't end up with extra pieces. That's the thing that I think is great for people who like the idea of doing a little memory keeping and doing some documenting, scrapbooking, whatever you want to call it. This is the best way to do it because you don't end up with piles of materials. You use everything up when you make your pages. I think you should give it a try. You can go to barbaderholt.closetomyheart.com and you can click on the subscription tab and we have we have Craft with Heart for card making, and we have Craft with Heart for scrapbooking. And here you can see I've got it in a page protector. And I'm going to slip my pictures on. Now they're just a hair 
sometimes, I don't know, the photos don't always print true four by six. Sometimes there's a little bit of a, a little bit of something. I don't know what it is. But it doesn't really matter to me. And you can, if you want, you can cut off of the side and the top or the bottom. And you can make this a little white border if that's something that appeals to you. And here we go again. I left this without adhesive so that I could get my photo under there. And then I can do a little journaling here, talk about the day when we went and had the photos taken, who's in the photos, all of those kinds of things. Super quick, super fast. Craft with Heart subscription. You can go to barbaderhope.closetomyheart.com, check that subscription tab, and look at it and give it a whirl. I highly recommend it. Thank you for stopping by. Have a blessed day. I'll see you next time.